Hi guys, this is Alicia Joya. I am on my way to talk to a few clients right now. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about um, why my son is my hero. Um, my son offered his blood to save my life. Um, in June of 2013, which was about seven months from, from seven months ago, um, my son offered his blood because I was diagnosed being anemic, but I was too damn stubborn to want to do anything, so I didn't supplement or anything like that. And I was hemorrhaging in the bad spot, and. Uh, I was hemorrhaging so much blood that I actually did need the blood transfusion, but I did not go back to the doctor until November, so I waited five months. <laughs> Anyways, I went to the doctor, did a test, and all my ultrasounds came inconclusive. There is no no cancer there, there was no polyps, no cysts or anything like that. Um, but I had to go back again for another test. Um, I was diagnosed again being even more anemic than I was before. And uh, the doctor started to order, order a uh, blood transfusion right away. But um, we didn't know if my son was still compatible because your antibodies change. And so did your blood count and your platelets and your white blood cell count, your T cells basically. Um, but I still didn't do the blood transfusion because I don't like the needles in me. And uh, I was extremely sick. I was dizzy all the time. I couldn't even stand for like two seconds without getting a dizzy spell. And but mind you, I'm a single parent. I have to take my son to school. I have to do things with my child. My child needs food. I need to cook food. I have to take care of my son who's also an epileptic. So I gotta get up, make sure he's got his meds, making sure he's taken care of, taking a shower, he has attention, you know. So here I'm sick as a dog, uh, vomiting, uh, dizzy as hell. Um, and still not doing the blood transfusion because I'm stubborn like that. Well, <laughs> about a week and a week, no, more like eight days ago, I started to use my Melaleuca vitamins again. And it's like night and day with my health. I am not walking with a cane anymore. I'm not dizzy anymore. But I wanted to tell you guys how my son is my hero because he offered to sacrifice himself to save me. Uh, a teenager unselfishly willing to sacrifice himself for me. So <laughs> my wonderful son is my hero. I want to become more like my son. When I decide to finally grow up, <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm taking these multivitamins now, and um, my dizzy spell stopped. I'm not using a cane. I'm finally going for walks again. I couldn't walk since June because of all the dizzy spells, but I somehow managed, you know, seven month plus months later to um, to to still be alive. Though I've lost so much blood. So, by the good grace of God, and yeah, when I, when I went to the doctor, we got my son's blood tested, um, we, we did find out that he was a perfect match, perfect antibodies, same blood type, you know, everything was perfect, and just the fact that my son wanted to say would would lay down his blood his life force his his part of his soul in a way in the blood 
to save me, his mother, and he it's not required of a child to save their parent. It's the other way around. So yes, this is why my son is my hero.